Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can replace the cartridge for a Moen. Uh, this is the shower and uh, what you need is a Allen key first to remove that top piece and um, here we're going to remove this. You know, I already have it removed, you know, but this is the Allen the screw and once you remove it, it just lights off. Now you need to pull this thing off, you know, this is a plastic mechanism, but before you do that there is a screw right in the middle, you know, and without that you cannot remove it as you can see I'm trying to pull on it but you cannot but you have to remove this screw this is a Phillips screw so once you take the Phillips screw and remove it already loosen it up and just take the screw out be careful don't drop it and then this whole thing can be pulled out very easily there you go and uh, just uh, keep track of how you are removing it so you're gonna need to put that back later on now once you have this this plastic piece comes off and then this also there is a there are two screws um, that is holding that plate now some people do it without removing it but i always remove those two screws you know and get the plate out of the way it just makes things work a lot more easier um, than if you try to do this you know with the with the plate in place you know it just gives you a lot more room and uh, if you run into issues you know it's just a lot more easier and um, you know in, the, in this particular video i'm going to be using a tool to remove that cartridge now you don't really have to have that tool there are different ways you know um, that you can do it but what I have seen in my experience is you know it's just sometimes like if it has been in there for a long time like many years you know it's it's very hard guys you know and without a tool it's almost impossible to remove and uh, that's one of the reasons that I purchased that tool you know it's, it's well worth it um, because you know it's it's almost impossible without that tool you know and have that pull because you can definitely easily break the copper piping that's inside you know if you're trying to pull it um, you know with something else but anyways and now you can see I have a lot more access um, you know to the whole thing and I can just slide this piece off this metal piece comes off just put that to the side and just be careful <clears throat> now there is a pin right there that you can see this pin needs to be removed before you can remove the cartridge and for that you just need a needle nose plier and uh, just stick it in and pop it up be careful not to drop it inside because then you're not going to have be able to have it <clears throat> so there you go i have the pin out keep that on the side because you're going to need all these tools all these uh, things now you can see it's so hard to pull you know a lot of people try to pull it with the plier but no i'm going to be using this particular tool this is makes it a lot more easier you know it's a simple tool there's a screw at the end you know you just put it on and screw this in <clears throat> now i'm going to un unscrew it so you know when i'm i have plenty of room so Make sure this notch is facing upwards, as you can see. If it's not, then you just have to turn around and see on the back side there is no notch and this side there is a notch. So just make sure you put that notch before you try to pull it. Now my notch is facing upwards and uh, I'm gonna put this tool on and screw it on. Just make sure put the screw all the way in. It's eventually is gonna stop at some point, which is okay. You know, the main thing is to get it in as much as you can. And as you can see, it's pretty much in now <clears throat> what you have to do is you know you just kind of start unscrewing it kind of counterclockwise so that's what I'm doing right now I just keep turning it counterclockwise and what it does it is just kind of you can see that white piece on the back side is just it starts keep moving and it's gonna start pushing that cartridge out you know so that big nut is kind of holding against that entire mechanism and as you're turning you're all you're doing is you're pulling that cartridge out and that nut is kind of like supporting you know on the on the back side of the entire mechanism so you know all you have to do is just keep keep turning and you know, you're, eventually you're gonna have resistance and there you go it's, it's already breaking loose as you can see you have some water coming in uh, now make sure to turn the water off you know before you do this um, I don't know why my water is coming in. I'm going to go ahead and verify to make sure the water is off. Uh, I did turn the water off. Maybe the faucet is not completely off. But anyways, you have to keep moving it. Now, before I remove it, I want to keep the new one that I'm going to install ready to go. And, uh, you know, for that, I already have mine ready to go. You know, I put lubricant on the top side you know this is the part number that comes with the cartridge and you have to look make sure you put lubricant on both sides of the rubber piece and also the o-ring and I have it ready so 
because I don't want to waste any time you know once I remove it all I want to do is just pop it in um, especially since I have some water leaking my main valve is uh, still leaking some water so I know I'm gonna have some water as soon as I yank it out so <clears throat> here I'm trying to wiggle it I apologize for being a little bit out of camera it's trying to record and remove at the same time but here you go the piece you can see as I wiggled it and start pulling it it seems to be coming out you know sometimes it gets stuck at this point and and the main reason is the rubbers um, you know that are kind of stopping it from coming out you know as you can see I'm trying to yank it out but it's very hard but anyways I got it out and uh, you know the rubbers you can see I had to remove it manually I just had to pull these out with the needle nose because they were kind of restricting for me to pull this entire cartridge out you know uh, but once you pull those rubber out you know it just slides right out and there are, is always a piece that is left inside you know so make sure you remove all the pieces from inside sometimes they get glued in you know on the side of the wall as you can see I have one left over there so I'm gonna try to remove that um, you know it's just kind of get freaky sometimes you know it's just to make sure you don't damage the walls inside because if you do it's just not gonna work uh, and it's gonna leak water so that's why it's, it's it's important you know not to start hammering inside you know try to remove it gently and uh, there you go I got the piece up and uh, just Put your fingers through make sure there's nothing blocking uh, it's always a good idea you know to you know run some water maybe put a bucket in front and have somebody open the water quickly and then turn it off so if you have anything um, inside you know it's just gonna flush out so you're not left with something but in my case you know I did verify everything is in good shape over here and you can always clean it from inside as well using a rag now another thing I do is uh, I lubricate the inside as well with the same um, lubricant that comes with it you know so I had some left on my finger and I just kind of wipe the inside of it it just helps you know uh, for future if you ever have to remove it you know you have enough lubricant inside and uh, you know it just helps the movement um, of that entire valve it just comes very soft and smooth you know if you put that inside so it's completely fine to lubricate the inside of that ring and uh, also helps you make sure there's no gunk or anything left in there now I think they're ready to install over a new cartridge and make sure the this thing is facing upwards the notch and the HC part should be facing upwards as well so once you put it in you know it's just a matter of it should slide right in very easily to straight and as you can see it's going in pretty smooth there you go it's all the way in and uh, next what you need to do is put that pin that we removed uh, from top you know but make sure before you put the pin it's all the way in and uh, there is a pin so now we're going to go ahead and install the pin now the pin installation sometimes gets tricky um, you want to make sure you don't drop it because there is a lot of opening inside so I think I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to try to put the pin in um, you may want to hold it with the nose, needle nose plier and just kind of stick it in so you don't drop it inside and once you install the pin um, just make sure it's nice and secure and then you just have to put everything back to normal the way you removed everything you know um, once you put everything back to normal make sure you do a test run and here it is everything is working nice and smooth so hopefully this video helps you guys you know change your cartridge guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you